Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. You can see here we've got a bunch of accessories for the new iPhone 13, kindly sent out by ESR to take a look at, ranging from chargers for the home and in the car, along with six different cases. So if you need to get some protection for your iPhone 13, you can check out these and see how they look on the phone. There will be links in the description down below. They are affiliate links to all these products. So if you want to use them and help out the channel, that's much appreciated along with a discount code for 10% off all these products. And also, if you're watching before the 15th of October, ESR is running a giveaway for an iPhone 13. So click the link in the description to enter for that and good luck with that competition. We'll go ahead and just check out the charger for the home to start off with. So this is the Halo Lock kickstand. You can see it comes in a few different colors, silver, black, and a sort of bronzy gold. So if we go ahead and just open it up from the bottom here, we'll go ahead and slide it out. And this ranges from £20 up to 30 depending uh, what it is like on Amazon. So you just get some packaging along with some details just telling you about what chargers you need to use. So if you want to get the fast charging, you do need to use an 18 watt charger and then talks about the MagSafe there. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. We do get a USB-C to C cable included in the box. So we'll go ahead, take a look at the length there. It's about a meter, uh, about three feet long. So that's good to see. And then you've got the charging puck down here at the bottom. And we've just got some plastic, so we'll peel that off. And there we go. So this is the white and silver. We've got a nice plain front there, plastic with ESR in the center, and then silver on the back along with that kickstand. So you can have and fold it out and then you have the type c on the left here so if we bring in the iphone 13 this is the blue model we'll go ahead and just attach it it sticks onto the back so this will work with both the 13 and the 12 series of iphones and then you can fold out the kickstand so you can have it in both a portrait or if you turn it like that you can also have it in landscape so if you want to watch some videos or browse some social media in portrait you can do that so we'll go ahead and plug in the cable just to see how it works. So it does support up to 15 watts total, but that is just with the wireless charging because it is using the G standard. So you can see there it's charging, but no MagSafe animation. So unfortunately, it only supports seven and a half watts on the iPhone. If you want to get high, you will need something like the official MagSafe charger. Since it's only using the magnets, it's not uh, official MagSafe. So you're limited to seven and a half watts, which is what all G chargers are on the iPhone. But you can use 15 watts on, say, a Samsung or another supported phone. But that is the Halo Lock charger. So we'll put that down and we'll check out the Halo Lock magnet for the car. So this is the same idea. It uses the magnets on the new iPhone 13 and the older iPhone 12 to attach itself. So you can simply get in the car and just pop your phone onto the mount and it will stick. So you can see in here again, you get some similar paperwork just telling you about the fact you need to use a cable that is supported and that on bumpy roads it may fall off, which I have had once. I've been using this for about eight months with the iPhone 12 and it has fallen off just once, but otherwise it is all good. So we can see just plastic on the front there. Peel that off and it's the same. This is the black version. You can see you've got an LED on the left there and then on the bottom you've got the Type-C port and then you've got this simple mounting system. So if you just pull this out, it's much like any other phone mount for the car. You've got this little clip system. So you can go ahead, put that on your car vent and then it's got this little supporting bracket, but it's just this ball joint that if you unscrew this, and then pop that in there and then you can tighten it up and you can adjust whatever angle you want so you can have it pointing towards you or straight back, anything like that. And then you also get a Type-C to USB-A, so not C to C, which is a shame, but probably most cars do have a Type-A. And you can use a lower power and just get something like five watts out of this, but if you want to get the seven and a half watts, you will need a higher power outage and again, this supports 15 watts, but that is something with Android phones, but obviously you don't have the MagSafe, so you don't get this feature to just drop it on 
and it stays on like that. So again, limited to that seven and a half watts, but it is a really good phone charger and phone mount. Great for maps if you're using that in your car. Um, so you can just plop it on, sticks there and then take it off. And the mount doesn't move at all when it's in the car. So as I said, been using this for eight months and it's been great in there, just fallen off the once, but you can just plop it on, charges whilst you're driving using GPS or music, and then you can just take it off and go nice and simple. So that is the halo lock for the car. And now we're on to the cases. So we've got six different cases, all the same packaging, and they just have the different labels on the back. So we'll go ahead and open up the first one here. This is the cloud soft case. Again, there will be links to all these cases down below. So we'll go ahead and slide this out. And then they just come in this soft packaging. So we just go ahead and slide it out. We've got to take out the foam and the card first. And there we go, you can slide it out. So this is the black sort of soft, almost like Apple's um, silicone case. So soft on the outside and then a microfiber texture on the inside. You can see here we've got the halo lock or the magnetic ring. So that helps and strengthens the MagSafe on the phone. So if we go ahead and pop the phone in, fits in snugly and you can see there, a nice good fit, no visible silver or blue around the side there. So that's good to see. You've got cutouts for the volume, uh, for the mute switch, sorry. And then you've got covered volume buttons and power button there. Cutouts at the bottom for the speaker, microphone and the lightning port. And then round back the camera, nice clean cutout. It fits perfectly, nice and soft. And the great thing is with those magnets in, even though it's a thick case, it still works just as well. And you can stick it on there. Same with this home halo lock. You can just stick it on the back like that and still use it. So it's really great to have the MagSafe built into the cases. Otherwise, if you get a case without it, it is slightly weakened or sometimes it won't even work especially with something like the car mount, it won't stick there strong enough. So that's the clear, the soft case from ESR. We'll check out the next one. So this is the metal kickstand uh, hybrid case. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And inside with this one, you get a little kickstand. So if we go ahead and just pop that out, not totally necessary since you do get a kickstand uh, built into the case but if you want that you can use this probably for a phone or even a tablet so go ahead and just put the phone in like that and there you go you've got a little kickstand so useful little thing if you've got a tablet as well you can use that you get a sort of two in one with this one we'll go ahead and take off all the packaging again same idea foam and some card and slide out the case and there you go. So you've got a clear case, nice and simple. Go ahead, pop the phone in straight away. And there we go, that's in. So you can see what it looks like on the back. Now this does pick up fingerprints pretty badly. So if you're someone that likes the clear case to see the color, just bear in mind you do get the fingerprints there and there is no MagSafe ring built into this one. So we can go ahead and test and see what it's like with a MagSafe product. So it still sticks but it is much weaker. I wouldn't trust this in the car if I was going over a speed bump, really. It's pretty weak. So as I said, it's really only gonna work with a MagSafe charger in the home, so either ESRs or Apples. At home, it's just about sticking, but it's not good enough to hold it up in the car. So bear that in mind. But with this one, you do get the built-in kickstand. So it's metal, you can fold it out like that, and it gives you pretty much a little kickstand like that, just like, the halo lock would. So if you want something like that built in, so you're watching a lot of uh, videos or browsing the web a lot, uh, maybe over breakfast or lunch or something, then this is pretty useful. You can see again, you've got the same cutouts on the side, covered volume and power buttons, and then cutouts at the bottom and a nice same design on the back. You've got that camera cutout there with a little camera guard. And it was the same with the other case, We've got a nice little lip just to protect the phone. So if you don't have a screen protector on, it's still going to be covered even if you put the phone face down. So that's the clear hybrid with the metal kickstand. So we'll go ahead and put that down there. 
And then next we have the ESR armor case. So this one is gonna be more tough. So if you're someone that is more prone to dropping your phone, then this may be more suited. So we'll go ahead, pop it out. And again, with this one, you do get a kickstand. So again, if you want that, you get that with this one. But unlike the previous one, this doesn't have a kickstand built in. So that's gonna be more useful this time. So we'll go ahead and slide it out. And there you go, nice and simple design. It's just a clear case with some sort of angled design on the edge. So you've got a bit more of a tougher design. But again, with the magnets in the center, like the first one. So unlike the metal kickstand one we just had, this one does have MagSafe built in. You can see what it looks like there. You've got sort of angled design on the corners, but you still have cutouts for the volume and covered power button. It's pretty much the same design, just with more angular and beefed up corners. So if you're more prone to dropping, this is probably more useful. And then you do have that MagSafe ring. So again, we can test it and it's nice and strong. So this is probably the one to go for if you want a clear design and you want that MagSafe compatibility and you get that kickstand in the box. So you can, if you're at home or you take this with you, you can fit your phone in like that and it fits perfectly. So that is the clear hybrid tough case. So we'll go ahead, pop that off again and we'll just bring in the soft silicone one in there. Next one is the clear case. So we'll go ahead and just pop this out, see what it looks like. This one looks like a nice simple design. So again, foam and card, slide out the case, and it is a nice simple one. So you've just got basically the same as this, but without the angled sides and no MagSafe charger, uh, MagSafe magnets in the middle. So nice simple design. We'll go ahead and pop the phone in, see what it looks like. Much softer to get in, so maybe that's to do with the toughness design of this one. That was slightly tougher to get the phone in. This one is much easier. So you've got no MagSafe on the back, so nice clear look. So if you don't need MagSafe and you like the clean look and you wanna see the blue, this is probably the way to go. And you have a slimmer design around the corners, you don't have those angled corners. And it'll still likely give you some good pro drop protection. So there you go, you can see what it looks like. And it still has the same rage, raised edge to protect your phone when you're putting it face down. So we're on to the last two now. This one is the Halo Lock mount. It doesn't say exactly what it is, so we'll have to unbox it and see what it's like when we take it out. Oh, it's a leather one. So not the greatest with the naming on the boxes, but I'm sure you'll get the right one if you're looking on their website. So we'll pull this out and there we go. There is the leather. So it's got a little genuine leather badge here. So. It's looking nice. This is the brown version. We can go ahead and pull this off somehow. There we go. Put that off to the side. So this one, you've got a leather with the microfiber on the inside. And again, MagSafe in the center. You've got some gold uh, accent buttons along with a gold accent around the back here and then a gold power button. And on the side here, you have ESR Tech Made Easier. So go ahead and pop the phone in. Now this might not be the best color combination, the brown and blue. So maybe this will go nicer with say a uh, silver phone or the black one. So you can see there with the blue and the gold on the back, pretty good. And then on the front, obviously you do have the black design, but you can see on this one, there is some of the blue coming around on the inside. So I would say go for a color that matches the leather since it does come through on the sides there. So that's just something to bear in mind. Again though, cut out for the mute, uh, mute button there and then the gold accents there along with the cutout on the back. And then you've got a slightly different design to these ones where you had the little camera guard system there. You've just got a nice cutout that goes right around the camera. So that's the leather option there. Much tougher, it's not as soft to get it on and off. So quite tough to actually get it off there. It's much stiffer the sides of the case. So unlike these TPU and the silicone ones, 
This one's much tougher on the sides. And then we're on to the last one. So this is the hybrid case with drop protection. So we'll go ahead, open it up, see what we've got here. So take that out. Again, you've got a little kickstand in there. So if you don't, um, in this case, get a kickstand built in, then you can use that. So we'll go ahead and take the card out and slide it out. And it's sort of like this tough armored one. So we'll go ahead and pop the phone in. Again, you can see MagSafe built in. Pop the phone in. And there we go. So it's sort of a combination of these three. So you've got the silicone, the TPU, sorry, the plastic here with the MagSafe ring and the tough armored corners. You've then got the sort of normal one with the MagSafe ring, um, but rounded corners. And then you've got one without any MagSafe and rounded corners. So you've got a lot of different options. So line them all out here. There we go. So you've got the TPU silicone style one here in the nice soft um, touch, which is very similar to Apple's one. You've then got leather, which feels slightly different to Apple's one and much tougher sides to get on and off, but with some nice accents and both have MagSafe. You've then got one here, just plastic. This one, no MagSafe, nice slim design. So if you just want the simplest case, that's the one to go for. You've then got the MagSafe, which is basically this one, just with the MagSafe. And then you've got MagSafe with some slightly toughened up corners, so more angled design, so maybe you like that look. And then lastly, you've got no MagSafe, same as this, but with a kickstand built in. So if you don't wanna to have to take around one of these, then that's the one to go for if you like to prop your phone up. But you can see there, all the products lined out. And as I said, there are links to all of these down below if you want to check them out and along with that giveaway if you're watching this before the 15th of October and again it really helps those magnets so if you're using them in the car then then you definitely need a case with MagSafe built in otherwise if you're using your own car charger or you're just using one at home then you can get away with one without MagSafe. But if you guys have any questions about ESR any of their cases or other products do post a comment down below and I'll get back to you if I can as quickly as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, do please hit that like button. Consider getting subscribed over there on the top right and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.